Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Alexis and today is April 16th, 2021 and it's a B-Day. And I'm Jake in person with the A3K group. Senior survey. Attention seniors, every spring PRHS asks seniors to complete the PRHS senior survey. The purpose of this survey is to help better understand students' plans after high school. Impact, of course, selection on career choice, report state matriculation results to the state of Pennsylvania and gather information for the class of 2021 map. Please complete your survey by May 16th. If you need help, contact Mrs. Whalen in the school counseling <gasps> office. Students earn awards. Pine Richland students earned top awards in the, at the 82nd Pittsburgh Regional Science and Engineering Fair, which was held virtually on March 24th, on March 24th. From Pine Richland High School, Junior Andrew Nee earned first place in the Senior Biology Division. Junior Am Amish Sethi earned third place in the Senior Medicine Health Microbiology Division. Sophomore Brianna Franchak earned a sponsor award from the Allegheny County Medical Society Alliance. History Day Competition. Hundreds of students throughout the region participated in the annual National History Day competition. Eight students from Pine Richland Middle School and six from Pine Richland High School placed the regional competition, which was held virtually at the high school level. Seniors Michael Alessi, Anthony Hartwick, Joshua Remby, and Victor Williams earned first place in the senior group performance category for their project, It's Common Sense how communication shapes understanding. They will move on to the state competition under the direction of teacher Mr. Goldsmith. Also soft sophomores Ellie Dusick and Catherine Yanni earned third place in the senior group West website category for project entitled Communication to the Government, Women's Rights Marches under the direction of teacher Mr. Urban. National Honor Society, Pine Richland High School senior Kristen Chilco has, Kirsten Chilco has been selected as a 2021 National Honor Society scholar. Kirsten was chosen from nearly 10,000 applicants. Recipients are chosen based on their demonstrated work to support the four pillars of NHS. Scholarship service, leadership and character and will receive money to use toward higher education. 4-H Council. Pine Ridge Hill and High School junior Nora Carter was selected to the Pennsylvania 4-H State Council, the highest level of youth leadership within the 4-H organization. Nora is the first youth ever selected from Allegheny County. She will serve as Vice President of Operations. Congratulations, Nora. Chorus and Band News. Three Pine Richland High School students have been selected to the Pennsylvania Music Educators Association All-State Choir, which is being held from April 14th through the 17th under direction of choral director, Mr. Rickard. Seniors Kristen Donahoe and Victor Williams and junior Nora Russell, all three participated in PMEA District Choir along with seniors Daniel Martinez, Abigail Turner, Rebecca Wajner and juniors Lacey Duffy and Fiona Cort Cortina and sophomores Paige Johnson and Brian Serloff. In addition, junior An Aiden Frick and trombonist has been a trombonist has been selected from PMEA All-State wind, wind Ensemble. Spanish Club. Attention Spanish Club members, we will be having a virtual flamingo lesson on Monday, April 24th from 4 to 5 p.m. Please RSVP for this event. 
We hope you can all make it to Spanish Club. <laughs> Spanish Club officer elect elections will be held in our meeting on Monday, May 24th from 5, 4 to 5 p.m. Please write an email and interest to Senora Huff by May 1st. Financial Literacy Month. Did you know that April is Financial Literacy Month? Each day this month, we will share a financial fact that has been provided by the business department. Today, here's today's fact. Did you know that 33% of college students have made a late payment on a credit card? <laughs> blood drive. The next blood drive will take this place Sunday at the Violet North Hills Donor Center. Let's go to a video that provides more information about the blood drive. Through a nonprofit organization named Vitalent, every member of the Pine Richland community has the opportunity to donate blood on Sunday, April 18th. Here are some important facts about donating blood. Just one donation could potentially save up to three lives. Every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs blood. Less than 38% of the population is eligible to give blood or platelets and blood and platelets cannot be manufactured. They can only come from volunteer donors. Approximately 36,000 units of red blood cells are needed every day in the U.S. Nearly 7,000 units of platelets and 10,000 units of plasma are needed daily in the U.S. Nearly 21 million blood components are transfused each year in the U.S., the average red blood cell transfusion is approximately three units. The blood type most often requested by hospitals is type O. Sickle cell disease affects 90,000 to 100,000 people in the U.S. About 1,000 babies are born with the disease each year. Sickle cell patients can require blood transfusions throughout their lives. According to the American Cancer Society, more than 1.8 million people are expected to be diagnosed with cancer in 2020. Many of them will need blood, sometimes daily, during their chemotherapy treatment. A single car accident victim can require as many as 100 units of blood. To be eligible for donation, you must be at least 16, weigh 110 pounds, and have one form of ID with you. It's going to be at the Vitalent North Hills Donor Center on Sunday, April 18th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. When you go to donate, you're going to want to use the code listed on screen. and even if you are ineligible when you show up, you're still going to want to give them the code. You'll still be registered on the list and get credit for it. We have a set goal of 50 donors, and anyone in, can, in the district can donate, including parents, not just students. Uh, for appointments, you can either go to vitalent.org or email Allison Romano with the email address on screen. Yearbook. The window to order your yearbook online has closed. You can still make an order. You can still order a yearbook for $70 through the end of April. The price increases in May. Mail to PRHS or drop off your $70 check in room 221. Check should be payable to PRHS yearbook. Theme day Thursday. Next week's theme is Superhero Day. Remember, if you participate in this week's theme, you will be entered to become a Ramsway Student of the Week. Guidance news. The following scholarship contests and workshops are now available Stop in the guidance office or check on Naviance under colleges tab. Tap scholarship list. Let's go to Noah for our sports. Hi, I'm Noah here with your PR Sports. Boys Tennis, on Wednesday the varsity team defeated Seneca Valley 3-2. Their next match is on Monday, April 19th at home against Butler. Baseball, today the varsity and JV teams will face Cannon McMillan. Varsity will be at home and JV will be away. The first pitch for both games is at 4 p.m. Softball, today the varsity and JV teams will be at Norwin. Varsity plays at 4 p.m., followed by the JV game. Girls Lacrosse. Tonight, the varsity and JV teams will take on Hampton at home. Varsity plays at 6 p.m., followed by the JV game. Crew. Tonight, tomorrow, the varsity 
and JV team. So race against Alter Dees at Fox in Chavox Chapel. The races begin at 8 a.m. in Sharpsburg, PA. Track and field. Tomorrow, the varsity and JV teams will host a mini section invitational. The meet begins at 9 a.m. That's all for me. Have a good sporty day. Thank you, Noah. Thank you, Noah. Now it's time to go to Trucker Tristan for lunch. Hello, Pine and Richland. This is today's lunch report. We got the uh, overslept breakfast for lunch. Mr. McCurdy, what's on the lunch? We got some breakfast tacos. We got the Chick-fil-A sandwich. Some different pizza choices. You got the Italian hoggy. Oh, that sounds good. We got turkey, bacon, and cheesy sub. The daily entree salad choice. That's all for me and Mr. McCurdy. Have a great day, everybody. That was um, so good. Thank you, Mr. McCurdy. We love you. And Tristy. Now it's time to go to Noah for the weather. Hi, I'm Noah here with your weather. Today we have a high of 48 and a low of 36, and tomorrow we have a high of 55 and a low of 39. Thank you. Back to the main desk. Love this weather. So weird and fun. Senior Spotlight. To conclude today's broadcast, let's go to our next 10 seniors for our Senior Spotlight. That's all for today. It's a B day, and I'm Jake. And I'm Alexis, in person with the A through K group. Bye. See ya.